Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. The declutter continues and today it is liquid liners and oh my gosh, I've got a lot considering I very rarely use them. So um, today we're just going to look through them, see which ones are still okay, which ones I'm interested in keeping and if there are any I want to either pass on or declutter. So yeah, I hope you're all keeping well. I hope you're enjoying my videos. If you're new here, hi. I'd love it if you'd consider subscribing. If you've enjoyed my video, please do give me a big thumbs up. Drop any comments down below about recommendations you've tried, what you do like, what you don't like. And yeah, we'll just crack on and see how we go. I think I really need to start trying liquid liners because I do line my upper lash line. So, um, but I normally use pencil liners. I've just done my pencil liner declutter so if you've not seen that go check it out so yeah i am used to lining my upper lashes but as i say i use pencils not liquids and i tend to reach for them over these so maybe i need to start trying these seeing what i like what i don't like and um go from there but what i'm going to do at the moment i'm going to have a look at any that have been opened already for a while just make sure they're still looking okay obviously they go very close to my eyes so if they're looking a bit smelling a bit funky or don't look quite right i'm going to declutter them likewise if i've had them for ages and things then i'll probably get rid of them as well so let's start off with the easy things so we've got an elf liner here it's still parceled up parceled sealed so we're going to keep that because i haven't tried it yet i am I've said this in a few videos i'm reintroducing shot my stash i need to really get into trying these and maybe like do like a project five use five uses maybe for like new products before they actually hit you know, like my um my makeup drawer so i can try new things as they come in i don't know i'm still thinking about ideas about how i want the my channel to go over the next year but anyway that's new we're going to keep hold of that I'm just going to grab, let's grab and see what we've got. So we've got a box here, which is liquid eyeliner from, is that Aesthetica? I don't know who these are. Um, or oh, when I got it, honestly, you lot are great at reminding me what box I got and when. So if you know when anything here is from, do let me know. Okay, so this is like a liquid liner here. It's in, it's got a little brush and things. I quite like this sort. Let's have a look and see what it's like. We'll give it a shake. Not sure if I should open this or not, but let's give it a go. Oh, feels new. Well, that looks quite good. Okay, we're going to keep that. I'm going to try not to open everything if I'm not sure if I've tried it before, actually, because otherwise it's a bit silly. It'll start going out. But yeah, we'll keep hold of that. Pretty sure I've tried this before. And this is the Black Magic Liquid Eyeliner. I think this is like a brush. Yeah. So what I want to do is to try them to make sure because I've had some in the oh that's good. I've had some in the past that I've ended up like bleeding from a lash line into my eyes and I've got like loads of like liquid liner in my eyes running into like, my waterline and things. I do not want that. I want it to stay put, not to bleed down, um, because then it just ends up stinging my eyes, making them sore. But that one I really like the look of. So we're keeping hold of that one. Right. Here again, we've got Dermacol Ultra Black Eyeliner. Not sure when I had this from either. Let's have a sniff. Smells okay. It's a bit thicker, but it looks okay. Nice and black. I literally just need to try them, don't I? Try, decide, and then either keep or ditch. This is a brown one, Black Magic. Coco Edit. I do like a brown liner, so hopefully that'll be fine. Nice, keeping that. Longcom, I think, art liner. I think this is, oh, this is a brown one. Give that a shake as well. I don't remember this. Does it go this way? So it's quite a deep brown, that. Um, and again, I just need to start using these, don't I? Right then, a little goldy one. I'm not sure I'm going to keep this. I've had this for years. Um, I don't think I've ever used it. But it's one of those, though, maybe if you want to like do a little design on your face or something, it could be okay. Oh, it's still very glittery, isn't it? I'm trying to sniff it. It's one of those you probably just want to use once a year. I just don't know whether I should... I have, do you know, I'm going to get rid of this one purely because it's really old 
and I have got glittery pencils like gold pencils that I could use so or I could use a liner couldn't I with a bit of um a setting spray or something you know oh, it's a shame it's pretty but it's been open a long time I'm going to get rid of that I've had this for ages as well this is a white one I think I've never used it makeup forever what's it look like it's all the rage now. I've seen loads of like funky designs now with like liners oh it's look at that it's like silvery oh, i quite like that isn't that cool that really catches the light hmm will i ever use it oh gosh i don't know what to do with that it's kind of nice it'd be nice if you did like a black liner along your lash line and then you did this just above it is there a date on it i just kind of Part of me wants to just keep it. I think I've had it for ages though, but I've never used it. It's one of those, right, I'm going to keep it. If I've not used it within a year, it'll get decluttered next time. Or if I try it and then I hate it, I'll declutter it. But it's just something really different. It's something I haven't got in my collection already. Right then, what have we got here? I have got no idea what this is. Oh, line and lash. Oh, this is an adhesive lash glue. So as long as this works, I'm going to, I really need to start trying my lashes. Let me leave these lash glues till the end. I've got a few of them. Okay, I'm going to put these up here and we'll try them at the end. Um, Right, we've got here a little liner, but it's, I think this is purple. I'm sure it's really pretty. <laughs> Look at that. Love it. It's just nice on the lower lash line, isn't it? It's so cool. Oh, look at that how nice okay we'll keep that right huda so this is a double-ended one i've got a wind up curl on one side and it's a liquid on the other so this is but the liquid one i think the brush has got a funny a stray hair is it still there it's a bit i think it's probably so there is a stray hair on it which makes it difficult to draw a line yeah he, I don't know, if, is it going to focus? There is a, there, see that funny hair? But let's see what the liner's like on the other side, because it may be that I can use the liner, but not the liquid, it, the pencil liner. There's a wind-up pencil on this side. So if this one's okay, we can keep it just to use the pencil side. That's a nice pencil. Okay, I'm going to put this one into... I'll keep it, but I'm going to put that into my eye pencils. Then I'll know to reach for it from just for the pencil point, and we won't bother with the liquid liner. So I'm going to just sit that here for now. I am keeping it. We have what is this? Don't know. It strikes me like it should be a little mascara or something, but I don't know. Um, ooh, there we go. It's a pen. It's like a felt pen. Oh, it's very thick though. Can I get a fine line with it? Oh yeah. Quite nice as well. I think that's going to dry down really nicely. Okay, we'll keep hold of that. I've got an Ico Skinny Liquid Liner in black. Precise. Smudge proof pitch black. Nice. And that again is another um, like felt type pen. Ah, that's dried out. Let's see if I can get it out. Yeah, that's dried. That's gone. So, bye-bye. That one, that's why it's worthwhile trying them. Um, an Ico Black Magic. This sounds like there's lots in. And again, so it's just like a little skinny brush. Oh, that's really nice. Lovely. We'll keep hold of that. Model Co. Karl Lagerfeld. Okay, this must be a pen type. Where is it? Yeah, so it's like a felt tip. Oh, that's okay. Do a thick line, thin line. It's just like a felt tip pen. We'll give that a go. Can I get a really fine line with it? Yes, I can. Okay, I'm going to keep hold of that. Again, it's just trying different brands, you know, different sort of um, 
application ways, seeing what works best. Look at state of my hands. Okay. Oh, wing woman. I had another one of these from the beauty club. Sorry, I gave it to my um my daughter-in-law. That was um okay, and she really liked it. I think that's nice as well. Okay. I need to start using liquid liners. I, I think I'm going to give it a go, actually. Um, Fierce Flakes. Have I just had that? Did I just have a Fierce Flakes? I'm imagining it. Wing Woman. Maybe I've just imagined it. I thought I saw one. Okay. Maybe it was this one I saw at the corner of my eye. So, again, this is like a felt pen. Nice. Cool. Lovely. We have Lord and Berry Shadow Graphic Eyeliner. And again, a nice like pen brush. Let me just give that a little zhuzh up. And again, that's a really nice one actually. I really like that one. It feels good. Again, it's okay swatching it on your hand, but until you actually try and apply it on your eye, it's really difficult to tell. So as long as they're working, they can stay. Um, so this is another eye curl. That's where I draw the line. And this one is a felt type marker. And again, beautiful and black. Keeping that. We've got a blue liquid liner, Makeup Forever. That's like that white one that I had. I think I got these together in a set, if I remember correctly. So let's see what this one goes like. So that, that silvery one now is really pretty. I'm glad I've kept it. Let's see what this is like. Oh, this looks glittery blue. Ooh, that is really nice. It's, look at, I really like that. Why have I never used these? So hopefully I have no reactions, but look at that. That is like a French navy blue. Really nice. Oh, I thought I'd have got rid of a lot more than this. <laughs> we have Josephine. If I got, no, I've only got one of these. And I define in Meet Jolie. This is fairly recent, I think. Maybe this year. Fairly recent. Sorry for hitting you. Again, it's another like liquidy one. The tip is like a felt. Very black, very smooth, lovely. And some of these will dry matte, some of them will dry gloss as well. So it depends what sort of look you want. Um, I really need to work at narrowing these down though. I think once I start using them, it's going to become very apparent what I like and what I don't. So yeah, watch this space. Um, Mellow, it's a nice brand is Mellow actually. I've had a few nice products from these. Um, so Precise Pen Eyeliner. This feels like a brush style, like a, sorry, like a felt pen style. Yes, that's nice and black. Can I get a fine line? I think I would be able to, yeah. Really black, they're nice but so smooth on application, so you're not going to be dragging your eye. Cool. Really, I've only had a couple of duds, haven't I? Everything else has been going okay. Oh, I need to give this a go. This is the stamp and drag. I'm meant to be able to make a winged liner really easy, so hopefully, if this is still okay, we maybe need to try this in a video, because <laughs> I cannot do winged liners to save myself. Let's get this out. I need to go make some lunch after this video. I'm so hungry. Now what you get. Oh, it's stuck here. I can't get it out. It's stupid nails. Hang on. Is it coming out? No. Can I push it from the other end? Ah, guys, the struggle is real. Oh, I'm trying to work out what I want for my lunch. Maybe some scrambled egg on toast. Mm. Right, there we go. Got that out. So this, I think it meant to have like a triangle on one side and a pen on the other. Does it tell you which way to make it easy for you? Oh, heck. Oh, no, I've just pulled the whole thing off. Right, that's the 
pen end. There's a pen end work. It's very big though in your hand. Okay, so the pen end works really nice. Oh my God, I'm covered in... That's a disaster. Is that because I pulled the whole thing off? Well, there we go. Why did that happen? We'll have to clean that up. And this is the bit that you're meant to do a little triangle stamp. And then connect your wing. Oh, is that going to work? It's a bit... Ah, oh, there we go. So... Yeah, you're meant to do your wing like so. I just don't see me using this. We'll give it a go though. I think it'd be worth a laugh if nothing else. And then you do your liner. I can't, oh, I can't even do it on my hand. Ta-da! Well, we shall see. We'll give it a go. It'll either be dreadful, which I think it probably will be. <laughs> or it'll be great, but we will see. I look like the newsreader. What's that? Um. What's the lady that's doing the news at the moment? Her winged liner is getting bigger and bigger every week. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'll keep it for a try. Right then, this is fairly new. Tint. Did I get this in an advent calendar? Mm, advent calendar I'll discover beauty. I can't remember which. Oh my gosh, it looks so nice. Look at that. How lovely. Oh, wind and ah brush okay so here we go this looks really fine oh nice is that brown nice i think it's a dark let me have a look out the window yes i think it's a brown oh it is i like that i hope this goes on nicely there that's it there really nice but it's a deep brown not quite black I really, really like that one. Yeah, in the shade Espresso. That's lovely. And that's pretty new as well. Okay, so now we've got some lash adhesive. So let's just make sure they still work and they're tacky. So these you put on your upper lash line and then you just stick the false lash directly onto it rather than trying to faff about getting your glue to go tacky on your false lashes. So in theory, it sounds grand. So here's one here. Okay, so that line looks quite good. Give it a little second to see if it goes tacky. Still feels sticky. Um, so yeah, and it looks nice. So we'll give that one a go. We've got a couple of these. Oh, I think I well, that one looks more like a, sorry, I wasn't showing. This one's all like blingy and this one's more like an animal print. So, right then we've got that. Oh, nice black line with that one. And then the animal one, let's do that next to it. Again, both very black, very good. Give them a little second. They're really sticky, actually. Good. And then we've got this one here, which is the eyeliner lash adhesive from is it Lash Base. Okay. I think this is fairly new, this one. Give it a go. Again, really nice black line. This is quite a long video. Sorry, guys. Um, and that's really sticky as well. Lovely. I need to give these a go just to see if this... Oh, look at that. If this is what I need. <laughs> right. Not a great declutter, but for these, it's definitely going to be a try and see. And I think I might just have to start working with through trying one, you know and see how it goes and um just just pull one out each day try it if i like it i'll keep it if i don't I'll, and obviously i'll declutter but i've decluttered these two which is a bit feeble keeping all of these but we will see you know so yeah that is it guys thanks for watching next time oh my gosh where are we up to let me have a little look next video we're going to be doing oh i think we're going to move on to eye shadows we're going to do my single shadows this will probably be two videos because i've got single single powder shadows but i've also got single like liquid and crayons and i'm really interested to try those i think a few of the creamy liquidy ones might have dried up so we'll give them a go and hopefully get a bit of a declutter going on with them but um yeah let me know how you think would be the best way for me to work through these and try do you think it's just going to be like doing a shop my stash but pulling out one product 
from each category just to try or just like a try as a go or I don't know I certainly need to be I just want to try everything now to see if I like it or not it's going to be the only way I can declutter further so give me your thoughts in the comments down below I honestly I appreciate your opinions on all these sorts of things but for now that is it so take care Mwah. see you in my next video guys bye